Hey guys, I know I'm at a weird angle. I'm just sitting on the floor next to the coffee table. I got my boxy charm today. It's already opened down here on the floor. Um, but I just thought I'd show you guys what I got. I'm not, I didn't uh, like unbox it on camera because I know a lot of people already got theirs and there's been a ton of videos. Mine's a little tiny bit later this month than it was the last few months. If anybody doesn't know what BoxyCharm is, it's a monthly subscription service for $21 a month. If you live in the U.S., you pay about $33 to $35 if you're in Canada, depending on like the, um, shipping and handling or sorry, the exchange rate. Um. Now, BoxyCharm does have another box out that you get quarterly, and it is Boxy Lux. Now, I missed out on the September one because I'm not even going to go into details about it because everybody's probably heard about how the site crashed and it kept on bringing you to an error page. So I kept on getting that error page, and then later that day, I got an email saying that I was on the wait list, um, or I was on in line for the December Boxy Lux. So I'll probably get Boxy Lux in December. Anyway, the theme for this month, if you want to check out BoxyCharm and subscribe, there will be a link down below. I'll try to remember to put it in there. If not, it's in most of my other videos. It's just I tend to do these ones from my phone, so any of my other, like, recorded videos. I do have another video that I'm going to post for you guys probably soon. As soon as I edit it, I just don't feel like editing right now. Um, if you follow me on social media, a lot of you know that there was... A death in the family and I'm not getting into details but the it was my cousin and she was only 26 years old but that's I don't want to get into details about it and dwell on it maybe someday I'll talk about it but it's not my spot place to talk about it so um so I've been having a hard time with that anyway the theme for this month is flower or sorry wildflower and also if you want to use my link down below I do get like points towards that I'm not, I don't get money or anything I get points um but if you don't want to use my link to sign up for BoxyCharm you can just go to BoxyCharm's website there's different variations of the box I got variation number four there's a couple of coupon codes here if you want to pause and use any of those my birds are squawking over there, so excuse that. Let's just get into the details. Okay, so BoxyCharm started sending out emails to give a hint of a, one of the, to give you one of the products that you were getting for sure. So I got the one that I was getting, Laura Geller. So this is the Baked Blush and Brighton in the color Tropic Hues. There's what it looks like. I don't own any Laura Geller products, so I'm definitely going to be keeping this one. Here's a swatch of it on my finger and I will swatch it on my hand I know the lighting's not the best either guys sorry so I definitely am want to try that out it has like a little bit of a highlighting to it and let me see what this retails for all prices are in US dollars so they'll be a little bit more in Canadian dollar so this retails for can't read upside down Sherry this retails for $28 US so interested to try that the next product that I got is from Lorac now they sent me out a color that I really I'm not really fussy about it's lilac so I don't think I'm going to swatch this because I don't think I'm going to use it it's a pro matte lip color and this retails for $19 US. I, the packaging's kind of ripped because I wanted to get into it. I didn't know what, I guess I didn't look down there to see what color it is. But there's the packaging looks like and I'll show you guys what the tube, I'm not going to, like I said, I'm not going to touch it, but there's the color looks like. I'm definitely not going to wear that color. I know for a fact I won't wear that color. I bet you the formula is probably really nice on these, but I don't know anybody that would use a lilac color. There's probably somebody in my family that will use that. The next product that I have is from Butter London, and this is the Stroke of Wow um, Roll-On. Ah, uh, sorry. This is the Stroke of Wow Roll-On Liner. This retails for $19 US. Yep. So this is kind of cool, and I might actually try this out. It's a black liner, but if you can see there, it has like a little roller ball. Like it's like a little wheel. I'm just going to swatch it. Let's see. It's pretty black. 
So I'm thinking this is a liner that I might want to try because I might actually be able to roll that on and use it because I suck at putting liner up here. No makeup on today either. Just don't feel like it. Um, the next product that I have is some brushes from Alamar Cosmetics, which is now owned by Gabby, who is associated with BoxyCharm, and we got a palette from her a few months ago. So this is the, oh jeez, I can't pronounce that, O-J-I-T-O-S, I'm sorry guys, I'm not going to butcher the language. It's the brush set, and this retails for $18, so it looks like we have a fluffy brush in here. Um, a nice little brush for packing color on and then a square <coughs> sorry a square like liner brush or you could use it to put shadow on the lower lash line or something so that's cute I like the um, neon green and I love getting uh, brushes in boxy charms so that's really cool and then last but not least is a palette from pretty vulgar cosmetics and this retails for $35. I'm pretty sure these are like 40 some dollars on Sephora in Canada. So this is the Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. And I'm still not sure about this either. I have so many palettes. Um, I'll show you what the colors look like. It's not that I'm not sure of it. It's just I have so many colors like this that I don't know if I should keep it for myself or pass it along. That's the thing about BoxyCharm. Like, you can, you can make good gifts out of BoxyCharm, actually. But this is what the color... It kind of reminds me of the colors of the original Naked palette, but maybe a little more smoky. It's very pretty packaging, though. Uh, we've gotten some products from Pretty Vulgar. So I might try that just to say that I tried it. And then if I don't really want to use it, I'll just pass it along to one of my relatives because they're always taking my used makeup <laughs> if it's gently used. But anyway, that is everything that I got in my boxy charm. I am really going to try to get back. I know I've been saying this for months, but I really am going to try to get back into recording. I do, like I said, I have a, it's mostly a fashion haul. There's a few little things in there that I got that weren't fashion related and, um, I'm going to edit that sometime this week or maybe over the weekend and post it next week. So you can look for that. And I'm just going to try to get back into the swing of things. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye everyone.